If you run a portable bandsaw mill, you should understand the importance of a good sharp blade. It can cause chatter, washboarding, rising, diving, lumber that's just not flat, or extra wear and tear on your sawmill. Now whether you sharpen your own blades or you have someone else sharpen them for you, there's one critical thing that most people overlook. And I'm here to tell you all about it. So I'm Charlie. I ran two different sawmills over the last four years. I've had three different people sharpen my blades for me and I've sharpened them myself. And I've learned a few things along the way. So I started off with Woodmiser's ReSharp program. It sounded too good to be true, but after shipping it there and back, and a lot of rejects, it didn't turn out to be financially feasible. I eventually found somebody local. He was an ex-machinist and seemed like he knew a lot about sharpening stuff. And he did, but the problem was he didn't know anything about wood or set. And he didn't know the importance of set or how to set it properly. And I went through a lot of issues and I wasted a lot of time and a lot of hours, most of the customer sites dealing with them. Now he could get them sharp, there's no question on that, but the set was kind of all over the place. And I didn't notice much of a difference the first couple times I brought blades over, everything just went fine. But after about the third or fourth round, getting back, I started noticing some issues with the blades. They were either diving or rising or just had chattery cuts, and I didn't know what to do at first. Well after scouring a lot of different blades, looking really closely, I found out the set was kind of all over the place, and he wasn't doing a good job keeping set consistent. So if you don't know, the set of the blade is just a little bit of bend on the teeth, up and down. It makes a wider path called a curve, so that it's actually cutting a little bit more material than the blade is thick. So usually it's about a hundred thousandths thick and the blade may be about fifty thousandths wide. So it makes a bigger path, it makes it a little easier for the blade to get through. Now if you don't have enough set, the channel that the blade's trying to cut pass through is just a little too narrow and that causes too much friction buildup on your blade. Now that's going to overheat your blade and cause more wear and tear with slower cuts and cause you more issues down the road. Your blades aren't going to last as long, they're going to break easy, and you're not going to be able to cut as fast. Not to mention with something like pine, that little bit of extra heat causes the sap to melt and stick on your blade and that causes a whole heap of issues. Now most people use diesel fuel to cut the sap, but that's really a band-aid. You don't need it if your set is set properly. So generally speaking, the set is about double the thickness of the blade. So if your blade's 50 thousandths, your set's going to be about 100 thousandths total. So 25 thousandths up and 25 thousandths down. Now that's a ballpark starting point. If you have harder woods, you want a little bit less set. If you have soft woods, you want a little bit more set. So with hard woods, we tend to use a lower tooth angle, which causes more of a scraping cut. It's not, a, it's not cutting as big of a chips, and it's causing more fine sawdust. So you don't need as much space above and below the blade to pass that dust through. Now with softwoods like pine, you might use a 10 degree angle. Now that's gonna cut larger chips, and you're gonna need more space for those, that sawdust to sit above and below the blade. Not to mention the sappy wood that it is, you want it to pass through easily. If there's any bit of friction on there, the sap is going to melt out of the wood and get onto your blade and stick to your blade and get on your rollers and your wheels and just mess everything up. And there's not really much going back from there. But if you want to really get into the nitty gritty of how to sharpen and set the blades properly, you should really sit down and watch this video. It's going to go through a lot of great information and let you know all the insider tips and tricks that we've picked up over the years.